So hey guys, welcome to Tiny House Customs. I am, hey guys, welcome to Tiny House. Fuck you, just drink. Better, good. Hey guys, welcome to Tiny House Customs, I'm Dan. So in the next few videos, I'm gonna be doing a lot of the lighting in here, shop lighting, shop outlets, and stuff like that. Why am I only getting half audio? Half audio. A lot of the last few videos I've filmed, I was using a shotgun mic. I wasn't really happy with how the audio turned out. So I'm gonna go back to my lav mic, you know, the wireless mic that I wear. Um, I think it's a lot better because I tend to turn and walk away when I'm talking to the camera. And uh, the shotgun mic just wasn't good for me. Shotgun mic's good for a vlogger, not what I do. So I'm going back to this mic. So I hope the audio's a little bit better. Nobody really complained, but I noticed it. I didn't like it. So I went to the big box store today and I picked up six, six lights. I've got six boxes, which will do uh, 10, 10 outlets, and then one with a light switch and an outlet. And then I got, what else did I get? I got all the covers so I can make it look halfway finished. Got these things. I got these power strips. These were freaking a steal. These were three bucks. It's got a short cord, but man, these things are great. But three bucks? I'll take three of them, please. And I also bought some wood to connect stuff to the container because that's really the only way. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know. I think it'll work. All right, I got an idea in my head, and I'm just going to do it. So I uh, haven't really given much thought of where I'm going with this. So, I th so in this video, I think I'm just going to do some of the woodworking that's going to be needed to hold the wires. So I'm going to get these two by fours up off the ground over the saw and we're going to cut them up so that they get wedged in between the ribs on the shipping container. Wow, it's already warm. It's nice. I've laid out where I want lights anywhere. I got a spray paint mark here. I'm going to put a light and I've got five marks down this thing. I hope one, two, three, four, five. And then I'm going to do one on there maybe. So you can see that two by four up there. I cut it a little bit too long so it really bowed in there. Uh, but that's kind of what I want to do is just wedge a 2x4 in there. I'm pretty sure I can hang on that thing and it's not going to fall down. Uh, I, I do want it to be wedged in tight so I'm going to, I might cut and then redo it. I might measure, cut it long and then uh, cut it again. All right, All right there, 90, 93. Pretty much all these are going to be custom because when they weld that on there, it's not perfect on that piece of channel that runs there. What did I say, 93? I hope. I bought a bunch of eight footers, so eight footers are 96, so look at that. Looking good. Let's see how this goes. Got a, got a sneaky feeling it's not gonna go great, but we'll try. See, that's too tight. That'll work. Now, as most of you know, I do want to eventually turn this into some type of house. So, I did consider doing the framing that I really want to do. Like, I want to have a, a two by mounted there with joists or ceiling joists running into that and then have the wall come up into those. But in order for me to do that, I'd probably have to spend like another hundred bucks to buy the wood to do it. So, you know, this is just temporary. Uh, I would have liked to do that, but I, I don't want to spend that extra money. Um, yeah, that's about all I have to say about that. Somebody said that they were worried about me, that I looked unhealthy. I'm, I, I mean, I breathe heavy. That's a given. But I'm healthy-ish. What's your definition of healthy? Fat. I'm plenty healthy. So I've got four more of those to put in. Same thing, measure them, cut them, bang them in. Boom, 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 I just need the ladder. You know, you did not like that, did you? No, that was very loud and like intrusive in my eardrummings. All right, peanut, I'm gonna bang and boom. One, two, three, four, five. I'm happy. I don't think those will fall. So just like I mounted this one, that's how I'm going to mount the other ones, you know, eventually. We'll get there. It's not going to be in this video, but 
those two by fours are gonna hold that. This one's coming down. But I spaced these out in areas that I'm gonna need lighting. I mean, once they're lit, this whole place is gonna be like a damn Christmas tree in here. So I have plenty of light to light up whatever I'm working on, but they're kind of prestigiously, prestigiously placed so that they fit the area that they're in. This one in the back lights that back workbench. This one lights this workbench. That one lights that workbench. That one lights the table saw, and the other one in the front there lights that table, which I'll probably end up assembling stuff on, gluing stuff up. So I've got plenty of good lighting. So like I said at the beginning of the video, I've got a bunch of these boxes. I think I bought six of them. Um, most of them, not most of them, half of them are gonna get, so half of these are gonna get installed in the workbench somewhere, recessed, or not recessed, but just flush with the, the outside, wherever they end up going, but then, uh, I want to put a light switch on this wall to control the lights and then put an outlet there just for shits and giggles. And then I need a outlet for the uh, table saw. So uh, I need to mount these onto nothing. So what I'm going to do is cut a two by four that butts into the, that upper two by four. I don't know if you can see it, barely. I'm going to, I'm going to butt it into there, run it down into the ground. That'll be it. I might put one screw in there for poops and giggles, and then I'll just mount this onto it. Oh, uh-oh. Oh, favor it this way. No, that still won't work. I'm going to go with it. So I already measured it, and I'm going to cut it. I didn't realize this when I bought my material, but though I was you know, originally planning to use some of those 2x4s for that, but that length is greater than 8 feet. It's something hundred and something inches can we have a little bit of facts i thought it was like 108 104 104 and an eighth it's not the total length don't don't overthink that now kids so the other day i was thinking of a different design for the tiny house and pretty much everything's going to stay the same except for where the kitchen and the living room is i think who knows but uh, Roughly a door is gonna go here, and I don't really want this in the way of the door I'm gonna give myself some extra slack when I run the the power the electricity the wire So that if I need to move some of this stuff, it'll be okay, but I Think this will be all right. I think the door is gonna end up going right here, so it, You're gonna kick yourself later if you don't put it over there You are you're gonna be like you freaking idiot. You should have just put it over there plus when you walk in there you're going to want it there. So put it over there. This is how Dan comes up with his ideas. But I didn't measure this one. Hello. <laughs> yeah, see? See? Don't go on it. Take off. Three sixteenths. Three sixteenths. Oh god, what was that? It's probably expensive. Oh, that's loud. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, mama. I do foresee this area being a place for uh, my sheets of plywood, stuff like that. So I'm not going to mount this light switch at any code level. It's going to be much higher, just so it's out of the way of the plywood. Good. I don't know what this is. They look important though. Oh God, something just cracked. It felt great. I mean, needed it. So boom, that'll end up being one light switch and one outlet. The outlet will be for something. I know one day I'll use it. So boom, boom. Got one here. I want an outlet for my table saw, but I think when I built this, yeah, I went, so that went right up to that. So that's not the best. But even if you went in an inch and a half, that's still, sorry for the light. I mean, one day the electrical work will be much better. By the end of the series, the videos would be great. So if I, if I bump this off about an inch and a half, 
roughly. This gives me 28 inches. And anytime I cut a piece of plywood on this, because that's the only reason I would have the fence that wide, uh, 24 inches, I can always cut the negative of that. You know, so 28, so I could push. Does that, I, I'm not making any sense, but in my head, it's okay. It's not that big of a deal. I can still cut a sheet of plywood in half. And if I need a piece at 16 inches, I can have my cutoff be 16 inches. No, that would be 32 over there, oh God. I don't know how to verbally, exp I don't know how to verbally, verbally? You are just, you're not even drunk. I don't know how to exactly explain that, but it's okay that this doesn't open all the way because I can still make my cuts that I would ever need to make on a sheet of plywood. So I'm gonna put one right here with an outlet pretty low down there to plug the table saw into. And then, yeah. You, I hate this. Ah! They need to stop manufacturing Phillips screws. They need to switch to the stars. Stars are the way to go. So this workbench I have here, this is like a four by four little workbench. I see myself in the future assembling a lot of stuff here. I'm gonna have to sand and stuff and do stuff. Might have to plug tools in. So I'm gonna put an outlet box here. When I had this, when I had this in the, the barn, I had, uh, I had an outlet box here and I use it all the time. So let us put one in here, eh? Hey, first blood. Good. That's three. Three more to go. If you don't bleed on a project, it's not a project. I bleed on every project. I really wanted to mount these on there so they're just right on here. One concern I have with that, when I'm using the chop saw, it's throwing sawdust up against the back of this. And I, I don't want sawdust to get injected into those outlets because to me, that might cause a fire. I could be completely wrong, but... Oh, we're already recording, and I look half-cocked. Well, hey. Rather have a half a cock than a full cock, right? Shit. Either way, it's gonna hurt, right? Hello. So after, uh... So after several drinks and uh, a couple injections, I've, uh... I think I figured out where I want to put these outlets. Um, so this, so the back of this is only, what was it, 16 inches back? I, I didn't want as like deep, I didn't want two foot deep shelves. So right here I went four inches back and I put the shelf and then that was 16 inches. So 16, four is 20. So there's another four inches behind that. So gosh, that was a lot of numbers that went, went over everyone's head. What am I trying to say? Totally forgot where I was going with that. I, I told I don't know. I, I'm 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 drunk. Let's let's be honest. Clearly, look at this face. That's not a sober face. But there's a there's a massive void behind that. But that was just to make these shelves shorter so they don't get like cluttered up with a bunch of stuff. You know, I can only put one thing in there, and it's front and center. Yeah. So. Like I was saying with this sawdust, I don't want to get it injected into outlets and stuff like that. So what I think I'm going to do is install an outlet box here and I will drill some large holes right here for power cords to go down through. You mean the chop saw? So, so the chop saw is right here. It's, it's going to end up in this area. So the cord's going to come down through here. I'll probably end up putting like a hole or two up top here to drop cords down and connect them in here for permanent type stuff. So I like this. So first thing I'm gonna do, first thing I'm gonna do is, cause I should have done this to all of them. Knock that out. Oh, here comes the freaking electrician code enforcers. But it's not code. You damn straight it ain't code, bitch. I thought about having this like flush here, but with basically the only thing that's gonna get plugged into this is the chop saw and then occasionally a, a random tool. 
and I'll use one of those power strips. I'll plug the power strip into here and I'll have outlets somewhere. So I think to have it back, to have a less of a chance of it getting uh, unplugged is a better, better idea. Good. So this workbench towards the back, whatever, front, whatever you want to call it, is my dirty workbench. Chainsaws, weed eaters, leaf blowers, any type of gas powered equipment, I mess around on this. It's, it's a filthy workbench. It's got oil and grease all over it, so I'll never do any woodworking on this, but I will use power tools occasionally on it. So I want to have some outlets back here. I do have two power strips up there that are running off like several extension cords and stuff, but I think just having that, that'll be good. Are we, are we together on that? I think that might be stronger. Yeah, that'll be stronger. What kind of boxes are those? Electricians that are commenting negative stuff. What is that? Why? Uh -huh. It's definitely a commercial box. It's massive, so you got to be able to put a bunch of wires in it. Uh, I'm sure I will be told. So this last one I'm going to install is like where a majority of the tools are going to get plugged into. I am definitely going to get a large power strip for this area. Haven't decided where I'm going to plug it in, but I want an outlet that is facing forward, but then is not in the way. Um, I thought about mounting it right here. If you don't know what this is, we're going to get to this in a future video, but uh, originally this piece of plywood right here was right here and the welder that's that's the Lincoln I'm sorry that's the in colon erection welder went inside here but one of the concerns I had if I was cutting lumber on the chop saw if you've ever cut lumber on a chop saw it always falls off the table and I didn't want the lumber to fall down and hit all these wires that are sticking out so I ended up changing the design a little bit after I built it so that the welder slides in this direction and there's no chance of large lumber falling on it. Of course, little things can fall and hit it, but she is dusty. I need to get a cover for her. But it ended up leaving me with this nice face that I could put a outlet box on, but you know damn well that those are gonna get unplugged. So what I was thinking is right down here, you see this little, little spot right here? I could put the outlet box in here so it's you know the bot the, the back of it is going through there and it's not going to be in the way of the welder it'll be perfect so i think that's what i'm going to do all right and this is gonna end up going like this so this dimension is four inches so we're going to go over four and three quarters oh and then here because this piece of plywood is in three quarters. I'm going to go over three quarters of an inch. That's not. That is. And we're going to come straight down. Cut that out. Since maybe two videos ago, you know, when I made the impact wrench holder, I've made three other ones. I made the uh, oscillating all right, the fine multi-master, but it's not a fine, it's the Walt multi-master, whatever, the oscillating tool. Made a jigsaw holder with my jigsaw blades. This also has all the tools that you would, the attachments that you would use with that tool. And I made one for the orbital sander. That one still needs a little bit of work to make it a little bit more effective, but I need my jigsaw. So, boom, pop that out. Let's see how we did, hey? I know that was a hack job, but... The box doesn't end up being flush with this, but it's all right. When I put the outlets in, I'm not gonna tighten them down all the way. They'll be kind of sticking out loosely, but then when you put this on, you tighten it in. You don't wanna tighten it so much so it's bowing in, but there's a happy medium. It's kind of like a little hack job trick that I'm gonna do, but it'll be all right. So I got that last box installed there. You see it? I got it kind of like hack job screwed in there. I also went around and drilled holes wherever I've got wire coming through. So I got a wire coming through the back that's gonna go there. Up here, I'm gonna put a light right here. So I drilled a hole for the wire right there. And I believe I should have, yeah, I drilled a hole back there. Boom, right there. 
I think that's all the holes I gotta drill. So I believe that's gonna do it for this video. That was like laying out the electrical. Next video, I'm gonna run some wire, do some stuff like that. So uh, if you're new to my channel, you like this video, make sure you hit the uh, subscribe button. If you liked the video, thought it was cool for some reason, uh, I guess you can hit that thumbs up. Uh, and I always love seeing your nonsense down below, especially if you're a licensed electrician with an opinion. Some, some, for some reason you all do. That's great. Well, thanks. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.